This is our Tech Equipment student competition submission for analyzing heat exchangers. Our team is Josie Kramer, Lance Wolfram, and Elijah Whittington, and we are all mechanical engineering students at the University of Michigan Flint. Some background is that linear heat conduction is thermal energy transferred through a substance along a straight path. In an experiment, it can be used to calculate heat transfer and heat loss along a path. Thermal resistance describes the ability of a material to conduct heat and is an analog to electrical resistance. At the top, we have the equation for thermal resistance and for heat transfer, which can be written in terms of thermal resistance. And on the left are a couple of pictures that describe these concepts. Our proposed research question is, how does thermal resistance affect heat transfer when using two bars instead of one bar during a linear heat conduction experiment? We used a TD1002A machine to run our experiment where we were able to swap out this middle piece here and put in a single solid bar of aluminum and two individual bars of aluminum. We were able to read the temperatures using the thermocouples and adjust the power here using the dial. Here's a picture of the casing with the solid bar of aluminum in it and the thermocouples attached, and the two separate pieces of aluminum in front of it. To set up our experiment, we used a TD1002A machine, which can be seen in the picture. It also diagrams the experiment and the thermocouples here. We used powers of 10 watts, 12 and a half watts, and 15 watts. The material we used was aluminum. For one piece, it was 45.75 millimeters in length, and for two pieces, it was 22.876 millimeters in length each. All of the diameters were 30.07 millimeters, and there was an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Here is a video of our experiment. Here are our results. This table shows the heater power and the temperatures at thermocouples T1 to T3. Here are the results for two pieces and for one piece where we highlighted T3 to T5. Here are the results in a table for the estimated heat loss percentage. And this is for a solid piece of aluminum on top and two pieces on the bottom. Here are some computations for heat transfer for 10 watts. You can pause here to look more into the computations that we did. This shows the solid piece of aluminum results, whereas the distance from T1 increases, the temperature decreases, and this is about a linear relationship for the solid piece of aluminum. And for the two pieces, you can see that as distance from T1 increases, the temperature does not increase linearly because of the two pieces of aluminum. It begins to decrease. And then here it experiences a drop from T3 to T5 in temperature because of the two pieces of metal where they meet and then it continues to decrease almost linearly after that. We calculated the thermal resistance here, which contributes to this big drop in temperature. In conclusion, we can say that as we expected, there's a greater change in temperature between T3 and T5 when using two middle section pieces compared to one middle section piece. The given temperature changes you can use that to find thermal resistance at the point of contact for the two pieces of aluminum. And we can say that thermal resistance will increase heat transfer in a linear heat conduction experiment when using two bars instead of one. Thank you.